Since I'm a vegetarian, dal is made every day in our house. Even though at times we have different curries that will go with rice, or we you know we have a tambli, or we have a kadi, or whatever, dal is something that I enjoy. Especially varan, bhat, tup, and butter dechi bhaji. But my staff hates varan. They say, "Didi, ye kya be beeswad ka tumne dal banate ho?" So, bandar kya jaane adrak ka swad. That's a different thing altogether. I'm sure you guys who love varan will understand what I'm saying. So for them, one day I tried making methi dal because I had very little methi left, and I said, "You know, let me. You know, dal palak, dal palak was becoming too much. So I said, let's make a dal methi." So for the dal methi, what I have done is soaked half a katori of chana dal and half katori of moong dal. Let's pressure cook this. So what I normally do is I soak dals overnight because then it's easier to cook them. It's faster to cook them. We'll add the moong dal as well to this. Now we'll add a liter of water to this. Add a pinch of hing to this. Half a teaspoon of turmeric, a teaspoon of finely chopped garlic, a teaspoon of finely chopped ginger, and a teaspoon of finely chopped green chilies. And now let's pressure cook this. Let the cooker whistle three times, then shut the flame. Your dal will be ready. Wait for the pressure to get released. Okay, otherwise, hmm. Now while the dal is getting cooked, we'll prepare with the tadka. So heat. Two to three tablespoons of oil. So we'll wait for the oil to get hot. Usually, in a clay pot, it takes a little more time for the oil to get hot. Now, um, I've made a video of how to cook in clay pots. Do watch it. So the oil is hot. Now I'm going to splutter half a teaspoon of mustard seeds, half a teaspoon of cumin seeds. A sprig of curry leaves, a tablespoon of finely chopped garlic, a tablespoon of finely chopped ginger, and a tablespoon of finely chopped green chilies. Just sauté this for a minute, and now we'll add two medium onions that are finely chopped. You need to sauté them till they are translucent. The onions are soft and translucent. Now we'll add two finely chopped tomatoes to this. Saute this for a minute. Now let's add some salt to this. Now when you add salt, the tomatoes and the onions tend to cook faster as they sweat. Now what I'm going to do is add little water to this, maybe quarter cup of water. So that it cooks well. You can see the tomatoes have become mushy. Now we'll add half a teaspoon of turmeric to this. Saute this well. You can also see that the masala is releasing oil. Now at this point, we'll add the hero of the dish, the methi. Here I have a medium bowl of just methi leaves, which we'll add. To the onion, tomato, masala, and now just saute this. Just keep sauteing it till the methi is cooked. So methi usually doesn't take time to cook. It wilts away very quickly. So now, after cooking this for almost seven to eight minutes on a medium flame, we're going to add the dal. I already gave three whistles to the dal. Waited for the pressure to be released, and now the dal is ready. And now we'll add the dal to the methi gravy. Remember, we've already added salt to this, so we don't need to add salt. Now I'm just going to thoda sa ghoto the dal. Please don't use any hand blenders or anything, okay? Otherwise. You know the look of the dal will become slightly greenish. So just take a ladle and just go on stirring the dal like this. Add a little bit of water because I want it to cook for at least another five to ten minutes. Now what we'll do is we'll cover this and bring the dal to a boil. So our dal has come to a boil. 
so basically what happens is the moong dal becomes nice and mushy and you get that little i can't explain the 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 texture but you know the da, the the chane ki dal is not completely uh, mushy so uska ek alag uh, feel comes into your mouth when you have it with chawal i love that so be dal is ready but yet not ready because you have to give it a tadka so i'm going to heat 2 tablespoons of ghee Let's splatter a teaspoon of cumin seeds. I'm going to add one inch of julienne ginger. Just saute it for 30 seconds, not more. And I'm going to throw in some red chilies. Shut the flame and just drizzle the tadka over the. Cover it and let it rest for five minutes. I'm going to remove this in a serving bowl and I'm going to serve it with some garma garam chawal and you know with this dal and chawal you won't need any accompaniments because you have your sabzi in it you have your dal and your chawal it's a complete meal uh, you can have a little bit of pickle or papads along with it but I enjoy just simple just the dal and chawal So you saw what a simple recipe this is absolutely comfort food soul satisfying so try this recipe and keep watching smita dev